So what am I worried about today? Well, for the last couple of years, I've directly experienced the strong connection between mind and body through my running. This has given me the most vivid and practical evidence of this fundamental two-way relationship. For example, when I'm in a relatively positive frame of mind, my chest feels more open, I can get more air into my lungs for longer, and I'll end up going for a much longer run. But if I'm anxious, stressed out, or angry about something, my chest can tighten up and I'll only be able to go half the distance. This was especially bad when I was suffering from hypochondria about non-existent cardiovascular disease. And also, if I focus too much on my breathing when I run, that can psych me out and restrict my breath. So it's weird. If I envelop myself in music or listen intently to an interesting lecture or podcast, it distracts me from fixating on my breathing, almost literally drowning out the sound of my heavy breath. I ran for 32 minutes listening to the last Trump-Clinton debate. A good idea for an anxious person? Maybe not, but it worked. And for another example, I have this pain that I get in my lower intestine that seems to come the day after I've had an existentially anxious episode. I know it's not a serious medical condition because I've had that whole area examined thoroughly. But before getting the all clear from my doctor, I got very obsessed and worried about it and I focused all my negative energy on that one spot. The pain got so bad that I needed antibiotics to unblock it essentially. But now that dull pain just seems to pass with relaxation, meditation, exercise, better posture and better nutrition as well as treating the anxiety by detangling and dissecting those automatic negative thoughts with written CBT or talk therapy. So that's all my thoughts for today. And until next time, it's goodbye from me, and it's goodbye from my mind.